Leo evolves. I, I, I'm still currently, um, yeah. So the Twizz B VAC 700, I've had this, this was one of my first or sec second or third pens I ever bought. So I've had it for around two years and I recently took this on a trip. This is obviously a slightly more expensive version of the Twizz B pens. And it's been out for a while. I have this smoky black one in EF. It's one of the thicker EFs I have. I know other people might have thinner EFs, but, but mine writes a slightly wider EF line, as it were. It's not flexy, it's pretty stiff nib, but it's very reliable. When you write with this, you have to undo the knob on the end so that the pressure can equalize and you, you, you get a continuous feed of, of ink. Otherwise, eventually it dries out if you have the knob on while writing. Some people find this an, an annoyance. I think it's part of the writing process. I recently took this on a trip. It was half full and, and, and it, I did get an oopsie on the plane. Even though they say, oh, it's safe for plane flights, that only applies if you have it the right way up. I, I, I think I just chucked it in my bag because this thing feels very tanky. It, it feels very sturdy, not likely to break it. The plastic won't get scratched by, by my nails whatsoever. Its size is a little big. I would like to compare it to the Pelican M215 that I happen to have. The, the, the size is considerably larger and, 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 and wider. I like both. So what happened was uh, I had it this way, I undid it, I started the first touch of the, the nib to paper on the flight. A giant blob of ink just washed out. I might actually have it here. Not sure if I should show it since this is a journal. Uh, do I have it? Oh right, here we go. Um, this bit, th th this, I was copying out a dinner menu and the first touch of nib to paper. The general rule to thumb here, uh, rule of thumb here is um, make sure it's fully inked before you write with it and, and you won't get as much problems. I think I knew this was coming because it was half full and, and, and I just treated it like a normal day of writing. So that's the only thing. I like it. I used to not like the fact that my other pens were thinner than this, but because it's slightly thicker, lays down a reasonably, it's a medium dry wet line. It, it's not, not too wet and it's very smooth. I can't complain about the smoothness. It's never cracked on me. I've had this for two years. Is that a crack? No, sorry, that, that, that's just ink. Some people may not like the styling, like the shiny silvery collar here versus the matte clip, but I, I like it. It, it. It's worked great for me over the years. One point about this pen that I really like the most, other than the fact that it's very solid and, and has a gigantic ink capacity, is that it is very, very easy to clean. Th these things, um, I'm currently using Sailor Carbon Nano Black w w with all those black pigments and they, in any other converter, they will tend to, once it dries out, it tends to stay there for at least like quite a number of weeks to like one or two months. But in this, all I have to do, which I'm not gonna do, is when I'm washing it, I can take out the nib unit. I, I can just pull and push the pump several, like three times within a matter of seconds. It's completely clean and, and all the inky residue is, is completely washed out. So every time I wash this, which isn't very often, I am pleasantly surprised by how easy it is to clean compared to basically everything else, but like every other pen I own. Converters I have to slowly twist in, twist out. This one I pull in, push out two or three times, everything's gone with the nib unit on and the feed using the same action I can just flush that out very easily too without having to pull out the, the nib and feed unit so 
That's the Twisby VAC 700. No writing samples today, I'm feeling lazy. Instead, I might as well show you what I usually use it for. It, it's a black ink fine line. I will, I like to use it for sketching, like so. That's just based on the street shot. And, and as you can see, it, it's, it's fine enough for, for, for most everyday purposes. And another one, another, another street, street sort of sketching thing. I, I didn't do these on the spot. I took a photo and sketched from it afterwards. So there you go. I use this for my entire trip. It totally supports long writing periods, as long as you know, as long as you have a normal, regular grip that isn't like death grip. So there you go, Twisby Vac 700. Very sturdy, very reliable, very easy to clean. Hasn't broken me ever. Just remember to un, un twist up off the knob before writing, otherwise you run out of ink quickly. And it comes out, it, it now has 1.1 mm stub and, and other various nib options, which, which makes it even better. But I like the original, I'll keep it this way. My nib, very rugged, totally worth the price. These two pens, my, my M15 and, and my VAC 700, are actually on a very similar price level. I would have a really hard time choosing between these two. They're both EF nibs. They both cost around the same price. They serve very similar functions. However, that being said, I, I feel that the Pelican gives me a much greater sense of quality of, of, of production. Like this, this may, maybe it's the plastic they use. I don't know, but, but when I unscrew this, it just feels really nice. Uh, Nib-wise, the Pelican is a little bit... This is just a steel EF nib. Um, the Pelican is a little bit springy and a tad more wet, which means effectively, even though this can write a finer line if I use a lighter touch, when I'm writing with my normal pressure, they, they basically have a similar line. This one's a piston fill, this one's a vac fill, so quality, quality, com feeling wise, I like this one a lot more. I don't mind big or small pens, but cleaning this is more annoying, way more annoying. Well, well this is a blast to clean, literally a blast to clean if you happen to be pumping in and out. This one, this just takes ages to twist and slowly wa wash away, so there you go. That's the difference. Just saying. I, I, I like them both. But, but they do seem to be a little bit overlapping in terms of function. So I sort of alternate between these two in my everyday carry. Just saying.